What's up you guys? I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 5 technologies that I'm really excited to learn in 2021. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. The first technology that I'm really excited to learn is Next.js. So Next.js is a React framework. It's essentially a framework for React in order to build production grade web applications using react right so it's built on top of react but as you all know react is a very unopinionated library there's a lot of ways to build a react app right so nextjs brings some form of opinion to it and it gives you a standard way of writing react apps and i think it's a great way so i've personally played around with nextjs in my uh, pet projects but i haven't built any a uh, big so, sort of a uh, you know complex project using nextjs which i'm planning to build in 2021 and nextjs i think is a great framework overall it has server side rendering it has uh, static rendering and it has this uh, it has a way to build full stack applications using your uh, node.js server right it will have its own server running which will serve your react app but it will also have uh, you know you can build apis they have these api routes and uh, static props and server side props and stuff so i think it's a great way to build full stack web applications using just nextjs uh, using javascript basically right so uh, yeah i think i'm really excited to learn nextjs and if possible i'll share my learnings with you guys and i'll probably make a few more videos about nextjs if you'd be into that let me know in the comments down below that you want to see the nextjs videos and tutorials maybe i'm still learning nextjs so once i gain a little bit more sort of an expertise in nextjs i will be able to teach you guys as well so yeah nextjs is the first one okay so moving on the second thing that i'm really excited about is typescript i know it's not a thing that you learn per se so i have been doing javascript a lot and i am basically uh, i think i have a good amount of understanding and i have a, a solid grasp over javascript and the core javascript concepts the way the language is and its strengths and weaknesses so i can i, I can find the need for types and you know strongly typed uh, language so i think typescript is solving that problem and i am ready to appreciate the advantages that typescript is ready to bring to the table at this point so i think it's a good time for me to you know jump ship not jump ship typescript is essentially javascript but it has static types and type checking and stuff like that so it's it is javascript essentially to write your programs they are the same language but typescript is sort of a enhanced or i could say a super set of javascript which has static type checking and stuff so yeah i'm really excited to migrate uh, my projects or maybe not migrate every single one of them but from now on i think the next project that i start would probably be with typescript because i have realized that it is advantages to have those static type checkings and i see the benefit that it adds since i know javascript it's very easy for me to pick typescript but it's a uh, it's a new paradigm it's a new way of writing uh, you know the same kind of apps so i'm really excited to hop onto the typescript train and i hope you will too i'll try to make a video about typescript as well all right so at number 3 we have apollo/relay/graphql i mean i have been learning graphql for a bit now and i really appreciate the way it simplifies your apis and it's a new way to essentially query your database right so i'm really excited to incorporate graphql using a client like apollo or relay in my uh, production grade app applications so this is also something that i'm really excited to learn so we will see we will check out relay we'll check out apollo and then we'll figure out from there what's the best way to go ahead to you know incorporate graphql in your uh, web applications so yeah that's about graphql and now moving on to number 4 so i'm a full stack software engineer and I, i like to do web development so that's about the web side of things so number 4 really belongs to the mobile side of things it's a really interesting technology for mobile devices and building mobile apps it's called realm db and i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but it's spelled as r e a l m realm and uh yeah so i'll put it on the screen anyway so you'll check it out but realm db is a way to uh, build sort of the back end or not the back end but uh, a database client in your mobile app so when you're building a mobile app it has to function offline really well and realm db really makes it easy to you know sync your data to your mobile app and have it in a way that it can function offline it is from mongodb i think mongodb acquired them i'm not sure but it's a really interesting piece of technology that i am excited to check out in 2021 and yeah so realm db will help me make better mobile apps whether it's react native or flutter or whatever right it is a client that will and it's fast right it's faster than your async storage and stuff like that so i think it's going to be a good way to add a add data capabilities to a mobile app all right so last but certainly not the least in fact this is probably the thing i'm really i'm the most excited about i would say and at number 5 we have ar vr xr whatever extended reality right i really want to i'm excited about Uh, augmented reality and virtual reality and i've been seeing that uh, facebook has been pushing vr for a while now 
and so is Google and Sony and other companies and now Apple is going to start pushing uh, with their own version of the VR glasses even Apple is going to start pushing AR VR into the mainstream and I think it's a really good time to get into AR VR right at this point as a developer uh, because there's plenty of applications that you can build plenty of types of uh, you know uh, services and uh, new new experiences that you can bring for the users using AR VR so I think it's a great piece of technology to get started on and this is the perfect time for it so if you look at the mobile app and the smartphone market right back in the 2006 2007 2008 that kind of range when iPhones were coming up and Android phones were just coming up people built these Android apps and iOS apps and they made their fortune they made entire companies out of that and stuff right so AR VR is sort of in the in that zone I believe in the next few years AR VR is going to be big and as as more mainstream adoption happens I think the platform is great and it's really uh, where the next leap is so I'm really excited to look into AR VR in fact I've already found at this point I'm looking at WebXR which is basically a set of uh, APIs by the web standard so WebXR XR basically means extended reality which includes your augmented reality, virtual reality and stuff like that. And I think it has really interesting applications and I'm personally very excited to learn how this technology works and to build something with it. And yeah, I will definitely share my learnings with you guys. I'll make more videos about probably each one of these technologies that I just mentioned. So if you would be interested in that, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. If you like this one, smash that like button, leave a comment down below and let me know what technologies you guys are learning and what do you want me to make videos about on this channel. Do let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions, you can connect with me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram up on the screen and definitely leave me a DM. I'm happy to help you out. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.